India is getting ready for travel revolution with a bullet train. Starting with Mumbai Ahmedabad high speed rail corridor, a 508 km line that will slash travel time from 7 hours to just 2 hours at a speed of 320 km per hour. The project is expected to open in the phase by 2027 to 2030 using Japan's world famous chicken scene technology known for speed and safety. But this is only the beginning. India is working on ambitious plan of over 8000 km of bullet train routes under the Diamond Quadrilateral project connecting Delhi, Varanasi, Chennai, Nagpur, Bengaluru and more. While challenges such as land acquisitions, cost rising and delays remain. The bullet train will save time, boost trade, create jobs and provide world class travel. The bullet train is not just a train, it is a symbol of India's growth and future ready transport. In this video, we will explore upcoming bullet train corridor in India, their routes, timeline and how they will transform the way India travels in coming decades. Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Corridor India's first high speed rail line stretching 508 km between Mumbai's Bandra Kurla complex and Ahmedabad Sabarmati. With 12 modern stations along the way, the train will run at the speed of up to 320 km per hour. Cutting the travel time from today 7 hours to just about 2 hours. Most of the tracks around 90% is being built on the elevated bridges, while the project also includes India's first undersea tunnel at the Dani Creek, along with the mountains tunnels and river bridges. Except for Mumbai BKC, which is underground, all stations will elevate it and designed like a airport style hubs for easy connectivity. The project is expected to start partial operation in Gujarat by 2027 and be fully completed by 2030. So far more than 300 km of viaduct are done. The first section of undersea tunnel is completed and most stations in Gujarat are nearly ready. The bullet train is being built with help from Japan using their famous Shikensan technology. Japan's international cooperation agency is funding about 81% of the cost through the long term loan. The trains will be specially designed for India's weather and conditions. At first, they will run with the 10 coaches, later expandable to 16, and about 35 trains will run daily in each direction, carrying nearly 23,000 passengers every day in future. Delhi Ahmedabad Bullet Train Corridor This corridor will connect Delhi with Ahmedabad and extend to Mumbai Ahmedabad line to form a fully integrated Delhi Mumbai bullet train network stretching approximately 886 km it will serve around 15 stations including stops at Jaipur Udaipur and Sabarmati when completed trains will travel at the speed of up to 320 km per hour cutting current journey about 12 hours down to just 3 to 3 and a half hours The detailed project report DPR has been completed and approved by Indian Railways as of April 2024 and the project is now in land acquisition stage the alignment has been carefully planned to follow the existing railway lines and highways as much as possible which will reduce the land acquisition challenges a common source of delay in infrastructure project in India Pune Nasik bullet train corridor this corridor is being built to connect Pune and Nasik two important industrial cities in Maharashtra the line will be about 235 km long with the trains running at speed up to 200 km per hour it will cut the travel from 6 hour to 1 hour 45 minutes it will have 24 stations including major stops like chakan sinar singamneer and satpur and will pass us through 18 tunnels across pune ahmednagar and nasik districts The project has been approved and construction is expected to finish within little over 3 years once started. The modern features like elevated stations at Pune, advanced electric trains and smart safety system will be included. This project will not only make travel time faster and easier but also strengthen the Maharashtra's industrial triangle of Mumbai, Pune, Nasik, boosting trade, tourism and connectivity. Mumbai Hyderabad High Speed Rail Corridor 
a proposed bullet train route that will span around 767 kilometers connecting Mumbai, Pune and Hyderabad across Maharashtra, Karnataka and Telangana. Trains will run at operational speed of 320 km per hour with a top speed up to 350 km per hour. Cutting the current 14 to 16 hours journey down to just 3 to 3 and of hours. The plan includes 11 major stations including Mumbai's Bandra Kulla complex, Navi Mumbai, Pune, Lonawala, Solapur, Gulbarga and Hyderabad, traversing a mix of elevated, underground and surface tracks and it is designed to carry around 750 passengers per train. The detailed project report is completed and submitted. With the early routing and feasibility surveys already underway, though the construction has not yet begun. Mumbai Nagpur High Speed Rail Corridor A proposed bullet train route stretching approximately 766 km across Maharashtra, linking Mumbai and Nagpur. Designed to run at the speed of 320 to 350 km per hour, it will slash the current 12 hours road journey to just 3.5 hours. The plan includes up to 15 stations including major stops like Nasik, Shirdi, Aurangabad, Jalna, Kulgaon and Varda, mostly aligned along the new Samhuti Expressway to ease the land acquisition. The detailed project report DPR has already been submitted and cost is estimated around 1.7 lakh crore. Once approved, this corridor would be a major leap for Maharashtra's infrastructure and fast rail connectivity. Tiruvananthapuram Kasargodu Semi-High Speed Rail Corridor it is also known as K-Rail, a proposed semi-high speed rail corridor in Kerala that will connect Tiruvananthapuram in the south to Kasargodu in the north, a distance about 550 km. It is planned to have 11 stations including the key cities like Kolam, Ernakulam, Kozikode and Kochi airport. With a train running at 200 km per hour, it will reduce the current 12 to 14 hours journey to 4 hours. The project costing around 64,000 crores, it is peer added by Kerala Rail Development Corporation K-Rail, with the support from both state and central governments. The detailed project report DPR was submitted and approved by the state cabinet, but central government approval is pending. Delhi Varanasi High Speed Rail Corridor, planned to span approximately 865 kilometers and connect the national capital with Varanasi passing through the cities like Mathura, Agra, Lucknow and Prayagraj. The trains will operate up to 320 km per hour, reducing the current 11 to 12 hour journey by train just about 3.5 to 4.5 hours. The rail line will feature a mix of elevated, underground and upgrade sections. It will include 12 to 13 modern stations and carrying advanced safety and signaling system. The detailed project report is complete and land acquisition is next and once started, construction could take 5-7 to seven years. The estimated cost is around 1.2 lakh crore to 2.3 lakh crore. Varanasi Aura High Speed Rail Corridor A proposed bullet train route link Varanasi to Kolkata via Patna and other major cities like Eastern India covering around 760 km. Designed for speed up to 350 km per hour. The corridor aimed to slash current travel time from 8 hours on Rajadhani train to just about 2 to 3 hours. The project is still in detailed project report stage. It will include about 10 stations such as Varanasi, Patna, Gaya, Danband, Durgapur, Haura. Run mostly on elevated tracks and use modern bullet trains technology. Delhi Amritsar High Speed Rail Corridor A proposed bullet train route spanning approximately 465 km connecting Delhi with Amritsar via several cities like Sonipat, Panipat, Chandigarh, Ludhiana and Jolakpur. It will operate at the speed up to 320 km per hour, cutting the current speed 6 hour journey to just to 2 to 2.5 hours, featuring 15 stations. The corridor is currently in the detailed project report stage with surveys and land acquisition is underway. The project aims for completion around 2051 and promises to revolutionize Northern India's travel and connectivity. Chennai Mysore High Speed Rail Corridor Stretching around 463 km to connect Chennai, 
Bengaluru and Mysore with just 9 to 11 modern stations. Built using Japanese inspired Shikansen technology, these trains will travel at the speed up to 350 km per hour, cutting the journey to just 2.5 hours compared to the current 6 to 6.5 hours by regular trains. The route features a mix of tunnel, elevated and undergrounds and ground level sections and passes through the states Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. The project is actively progressing. Land acquisition is underway. The final survey has begun and the detailed project report DPR is being finalized by NHRCL. Once completed, this corridor will dramatically improve the travel speed and regional connectivity. Chennai Hyderabad High Speed Rail Corridor, a planned bullet train line set to connect Chennai, Amaravati and Hyderabad. Spanning approximately 747 km across Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Trains will move at the speed up to 350 km per hour, cutting the current 12 hours journey to 2.5 hours. The project is managed by India's Railway and Development by National High Speed Rail Corporation Limited. Features 14 modern stations and a mix of elevated underground and grade separated tracks. The detailed project report DPR has been completed and waits government approval with the construction expected to start around 2026. Hyderabad Bengaluru High Speed Rail Corridor A planned bullet train about 6-18 km across Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka designed for speed up to 320 km per hour. It aims to reduce the current 8 hours Vande Bharat journey between the two IT hubs just to 2 to 2.5 hours. The project includes 12 stations, a mix of elevated, underground and ground level tracks and will use the advanced Shikansen based trains. Currently, the project is in detailed project report stage when the survey underway targeting a future link as part of India's expanding high speed rail corridor network. Nagpur Varanasi High Speed Rail Corridor This is the proposed bullet train route covering around 750 km connecting Nagpur in Maharashtra with Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh. The train is expected to race at speed up to 320 km per hour, drastically cutting the long multi-hour journey to just few hours. The planned line will include about 10 modern stations and employ Japan's E5 series Shikansen technology. Running on mix of elevated, underground and ground level tracks. Currently, the project is in detailed project report stage with the target of opening year around 2041. And it will form a vital link in India's Eastern High Speed Rail Corridor. Amritsar Jammu High Speed Rail Corridor. This is the proposed bullet train route that will connect Amritsar in Punjab with the Jammu in Jammu and Kashmir over the distance around 190 km. The trains in this corridor are expected to run at the speed of up to 320 km per hour, drastically cutting down the travel time and offering a fast and smooth ride. The line will include about 6 modern stations such as Batala, Gurdaspur, Pantankot, Samba, Jammu Tawai and will feature a mix of elevated, underground and upgrade tracks using reliable Japanese Shikansen 5 series trains. While still in proposed stage with no construction underway yet, the corridor is scheduled to be operational around 2051, aimed to improve the connectivity, boost tourism and support regional development in northern India. Patna Gauhati High Speed Rail Corridor the proposed bullet train route stretching about 850 km connecting Patna in Bihar with Guwahati in Assam through the Siliguri corridor. This route is designed for speed up to 320 km per hour and will feature around 10 modern stations. Travelling across elevated, underground and great separated tracks using Japan's E5 series Shikansen trains the corridor aims to vastly improve connectivity in North India. The project is currently in planning stage with the target operational year around 2051. India's upcoming bullet train corridor marks huge steps towards modern, fast and world-class travel.
once completed this project will connect major cities with ultra high speed trains reduce the travel time drastically and give a big boost to economy tourism and regional development though they require massive investment and long timelines bullet trains will transform the way the people travel in india bringing comfort safety and speed like never before in short india's future rail network is not just about trains it's about building a new era of connectivity and progress